okay so I'm gonna go I'm gonna do a video here about uh, about how our mind lies um, and how we uh, how we create language um, as a way of expressing um, our emotional thought <clears throat> um, to then try and explain existence uh, for for we are aching for a relationship with the Creator uh, so our rational mind will create false patterns that uh, that don't even exist, uh, but it's a way of creating um, some type of abstract form uh, for us to use to then grow within consciousness, to then grow towards the Creator. But then we have to realize that, uh, that, that if we are using these patterns to explain the Creator of the true foundation, uh, well, that would be of the tree of knowledge of good because you would be explaining what is truth. Uh, but whenever we use these false patterns using letters, numbers, symbols, and geometry <coughs> uh, to not explain the Creator, and then instead uh, we, ex we uh, begin to manipulate all of the uh, natural things over there uh, into false creations that then becomes a backwards foundation to the Creator, which then just becomes organized chaos. As you can see uh, over there that, uh, I mean, yeah, there's... Uh, this has all been trimmed up and, and you know it's just not it's not natural like it should be because of where we're staying at but um the design of the creator <coughs> is immaculately designed um spontaneously free-flowing uh with no organization nothing's organized over there unless a human being organized it but other than that uh, nowhere in nature is anything organized because if it was organized that would take away free will and that is a true foundation this right here is what you call a false foundation, straight lines and 90 degree angles. It is completely opposite of, of what is true. And the one thing about the rational mind um, is that as it's growing and trying to explain existence, it will actually, <clears throat> within its false backwards foundation of letters, numbers, symbols, and geometry, whenever it creates a backwards foundation to the creator, um, it'll actually formulate definitions that uh, over time, there will be irrefutable evidence to prove to itself of exactly what it's doing because uh, it, it lays down the evidence for itself and once you get to a certain point of understanding within consciousness, this is what's called the singularity effect and you shift within mind and then you're able to see all this and then uh, the, uh, the, the, pro the process of this is to then grow back towards the Creator when in essence it was never to uh, become this separate from the Creator in the first place. Uh, but somehow we have gotten stuck in artificial way of living rather than um, uh, growing towards the Creator by using letters, numbers, symbols, and geometry to explain the Creator, to better understand the Creator, to then grow towards the Creator. But instead we have become entrapped within letters, numbers, symbols, and geometry that don't even exist anywhere in nature. And then we formulated an artificial machine uh, environment that uh, that is not of the Creator. Well, <clears throat> I'm going to use definitions uh, to uh, this, which is irrefutable uh, proof of of the rational mind creating a backwards environment, and uh, within, within its own definitions uh, shall prove that. So ground uh, ground is uh, the solid surface of the earth, um, an area of knowledge or subject of discussion or thought. So what that means is is that it's the solid ground over there. It, it speaks of uh, the dirt, the grass, you know, what is solid over there. <clears throat> and yeah, it's an area of uh, subject of uh, discussion or thought, which means that's where everything originated. Everything originated over there on, on a true foundation of all living things is where the original thought, thought of the creative mind. See, what that means is, is that your creative mind pulls in consciousness on the right-hand side, which is thought, free-flowing thought. Uh, then your rational mind turns free-flowing thought uh, into ideas and or patterns or languages to, or symbols to then explain existence. Well, the problem is, is that thought then turns into many different ideas where there's many different ideas. If they go away from explaining creation, they then, they then turn into backwards artificial uh, ideas that go against uh, the Creator. And that's why we have all the cities and different uh, religions and all these things because uh, we've we've all it's this it's what's called the fall of man and woman we've all fallen away from the Creator um, so uh, so a found the true foundation is uh, the earth uh, knowledge or subject of discussion of uh, of thought where pure thought is supposed to originate in 
uh, to the beginning. Now, the, a foundation. A foundation is an underlying base or support, um, especially the whole masonry substructure of a building. So uh, it says underlying. If you'll look at that uh, that word there, it says underlying. It has lying in it. Uh, what that means is that uh, it's 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 underlying a base <coughs> uh, support, uh, the whole masonry substructure of a building. Okay. So what that is is that see this right here? It's it's underlying. It's a base uh, support. It's uh, it is it is lying. It's 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 lying as uh, uh, over as it's over top of the ground for it is a false foundation it's underlying uh, of, of trying to be a base uh, support when it is actually a false foundation uh, for it is not alive uh, it, and, and no seed or any type of life can grow off of this and or carpet or anywhere in, in a city or or any type of artificial uh, process that uh, that is used uh, from a fictional um, ideas of letters, numbers, symbols, and geometry. <clears throat> now, the next one is um, lie. Be in or assume a horizontal or resting position on a supporting surface. An intentionally false statement used with reference to a situation involving deception or founded on a mistaken impression. Well, okay, so lie. Well, first of all, the false backwards foundation of straight lines and 90 degree angles is um, horizontal or resting position. It's a false uh, base um, surface. Uh, an intentionally false statement. Well, that's what it is. It's an intentionally false statement. Used with reference to a situation involving deception or founded on, uh, on a mistaken impression. Well, it is definitely founded on a mistaken impression because letters, numbers, symbols, and geometry is what is used to create it, where letters, numbers, symbols, and geometry is a fictitious process of the mind uh, that has created a way of expressing emotional thought to better understand the Creator, and therefore, uh, it, uh, whenever it goes against the Creator and formulates an artificial environment, it is a lie. Uh, it, is a, it is a false mistaken. Uh, founded on a false mistaken impression. All right, so uh, moving on here to the <coughs> to the next. And see, that's the one uh, most beautiful thing about uh, the evolution of the mind um, is that uh, the rational mind shall lay out all the groundwork uh, and all the evidence that is needed right in front of everybody, and uh, it's irrefutable evidence because we've all done it together. All of us have uh, have done all of this uh, together as we as we have grown, and uh, now it's time for all of us to present uh, everything with compassionate evidence, and then for all of us to grow together as one. Now, <coughs> because otherwise, otherwise, if we don't allow that process, it's just we're just trying. It's just destroying the love of God of of the Creator, um, and uh, the whole meaning of life is to grow towards the Creator, not to destroy. Uh, the creator, you know, uh, so trap, a situation in which uh, people lie and wait. There goes that word again, lie. If you'll notice that word lie is in a lot of definitions because a rational mind, whenever it becomes separate from the creator, is a liar. All right, so a situation in which people lie and wait to make a surprise attack. That's what a trap is. So in essence, <coughs> everything on a backwards foundation, whenever you create laws or, you know, many different abstract laws where where the one law of uh, on ground, where a solid surface, the one law uh, is substance love, where all living things that exist is patterns with true substance, where that substance love is the energy that brings it all to life. All right, uh, everything exists within nature because the Creator uh, manifested by way of pure thought, vibrational frequencies of energy, and uh, and just uh, th uh, thanks it into existence, and it is here for us to live. Uh, for us to experience, for us to enjoy, for us to grow towards the Creator. Um, and uh, so, uh, whenever, you, whenever you have a backwards uh, foundation, um, where it will then become a trap, the uh, <clears throat> reason why is, is because a backwards foundation is not alive, and therefore it becomes organized chaos, where this organized chaos must then be 
worked and enslaved by many different people, which then the more that the uh, more that it grows, the more that the technology evolves, the more that human beings de-evolve, the more that they become relied on technology, the more willpower uh, they lose, and the more uh, laws are abstract, uh, false pattern laws that don't even exist in nature, which we probably have about two million uh, state statutes and federal statutes and all these things. There's probably around two million what laws. I'm not real sure about that. But uh, two million to uh, counting to infinity, they just keep rising, and uh, and that's what's going to happen because uh, this this uh, entire uh, foundation that is backwards, that's built on profit, uh, that's just that's just what happens because greed and the sinful nature of it, uh, that it just that's, it, it's not meant to make it. Otherwise, it would already be here. And uh, the reason why it falls is because it's just uh, because it has no uh, true foundation. And it's not of love, it's not of substance love, of the law of love, of, of the Creator. Every single empire for the past 6,000 years has fallen. That should tell you something right there. And, and every single empire since the beginning of time, not even just 6,000 years, but since the beginning of time has fallen. Uh, because it is not meant to be. It is meant to grow towards the Creator. Now, separation. Uh, the process of sorting and then extracting or removing a specified substance for use or rejection okay so to in to, to make the backwards foundation on top of the true foundation you must then separate the true substance love from the creator's creation uh, manipulate the creation into a false substance that is that, that, it, that then becomes lifeless there's no life so it is extracting or removing the substance love of the Creator. You're absorbing the Creator's uh, energy <coughs> and saying that, uh, that, that the Creator's uh, creation is, is no good, so we're going to manipulate it and we are going to extract it, remove it, uh, and then turn it into something that we think that it should be um, at, a, at, a, at a molecular level. Now, that's, now that, there's a difference between a, a bird building a nest or a fox digging a hole or uh, certain things, uh, you know, like that, in essence. Um, whenever we start breaking things down at a molecular level, uh, that's whenever we start manipulating uh, the very structure or fabric of space and time or how things are put together. Um, and uh, that, is, uh, um, that is whenever we become where we're trying to play a god and we become a false god. All right, so deceiver. <coughs> Um, and also this entire scenario of these definitions is exactly what the court system is as well, um, the judge. So deceiver, this would be a, a, a judge uh, for the most part uh, in, in most uh, situations here because it's upon a backwards foundation of lies that they're judging on. So what they're doing is they're passing judgment upon uh, a, a trap that has been set up that is a, that is a, a foundation, an underlying uh, base uh, that is a lie. A false impression, deception founded on a mistaken impression. Okay, so deceiver. <coughs> to make someone believe something that is not true, they deceive the enemy by disguising the judge as the creator. He's up there playing as he is a god. Uh, and he is passing judgment upon the people, upon, uh, upon a false foundation inside of a building where nothing is alive, straight lines and 90 degree angles of inactive life that is backwards uh, and uh, uh, to the Creator and, is, and has no substance love in there. Um, false father, if you will. And uh, they are doing this for profit and uh, um, and it's a lie. It is a lie. <clears throat> um, and for the most part I would have to say that uh, some of them know it and some of them don't. Um, you know, some of them, I mean, uh, everybody is, is trying to uh, survive and exist uh, in today's time where everything is owned and operated. And the, um, uh, the commerce way of life, city or property or commercial, is, is, uh, has overtaken uh, everything. And everything is owned and operated to where, you, you know, uh, it, it has become impossible to just live as the birds or the squirrels and, and to be free, uh, uh, to live in a way of... Uh, of where you're not bound um, and uh, to this uh, to this artificial 
uh, process that has turned that's turning everybody into uh, machines, droids uh, that, that that wake up habitually and do the same thing day in and day out. Uh, go to work, uh, come home, eat your food, uh, spend a little bit of time with your kids, brush your teeth, watch some TV, get up, uh, eat breakfast, uh, try and get your kids to uh, school, go to work all day long, come home, repeat, uh, go to sleep, go to work, come home, repeat, uh, get up. Yeah, same thing every single day, and then you barely even get any time to uh, focus on the Creator because uh, by this time, uh, everybody has truly forgotten about the Creator because everybody is absorbed within an artificial environment uh, and is being controlled by way of uh, sorcery of letters, numbers, symbols, and geometry that don't even exist and have created an artificial environment to keep everybody enslaved inside of a, a straight lines and 90 degree angle rat wheel box. Okay, where only the very few that understand are making a uh, profit uh, all while at the misery of the rest. So, let's see here, that's trapped now. <coughs> Moving forward, let's see here. Okay, now, uh, reality. Uh, reality, the world or the state of things as they actually exist, as opposed to an idealistic or notional idea of them. Okay, so what that means is, uh, is uh, uh, things of in a natural state, uh, things of of that are alive, that exist, that uh, that are here because uh, because they have substance, love, and um, uh, breathing, if you will, alive. Okay. Um, now the entire Earth. Uh, now that, uh, but the the opposite of that would be commerce city. So we'll move on to that illusion. <coughs> A thing uh, that is or is likely to be wrongfully perceived or interpreted by the senses. A false idea or belief. So what that means is is that an illusion is where your uh, emotional uh, senses are um, are existing on a, a, upon a backwards foundation where your where the senses are trying uh, to exist upon this and is get, is being tricked is being tricked into thinking that uh, that it is something that is good uh, when it is not um, it is it is a lie uh, and, it, and it is backwards to creation and it is uh, the uh, the, the very fr vibrational frequencies that make uh, creation um, that, uh, that the Creator uses to create is, uh, uh, is, a, is different uh, from the vibrational frequencies of cities for they are not alive. Um, and therefore, uh, it's the same thing as if you're on the computer for a very long time and you feel like your mind, you're very absorbed into it, you know, and then if you go outside and you feel the sun in your face, and uh, the sun rejuvenates you because the sun is substance love, vibrational frequencies of uh, positive energy, uh, game. Uh, manipulate a situation typically in a way that is unfair or unscrupulous. So what that would be is a game is the entire commerce system. It is a game. It has become an artificial game of the alter ego uh, uh, and is enslaving everybody, player, actor. A person whose profession is acting on the stage, a person who acts in a game and behaves in a way that is not genuine. Okay, so <coughs> pretty much we have two uh, personas going on here. We have your natural self that exists, and then you have your, your actor mode. Whenever you go into a commerce city and or uh, you go to work, you are on a stage. You are, you, are, you are acting on a stage because it is a backwards foundation lie. Now, if you were speaking upon a true foundation about true things, that would not be acting. Uh, as of right now, I am using a phone, and uh, I'm speaking through a phone where the phone is backwards upon a backwards foundation. But I am speaking truth. I am uh, I am trying. I am speaking truth uh, through the technological device, and whereas uh, I am not in denial that the technological device is backwards and or is a lie and that it is to be used as of only because it is here now uh, because it is a form of 
of uh, abstract consciousness to what is true conscious or pure thought well the internet cloud would be the abstract view and or, and, or call what's called antichrist uh, consciousness where it connects to everybody uh, uh, through the cloud where the cloud would be the abstract view of um, connecting through pure thought um, so uh, whenever anybody's working and they're in sales they're not acting genuine because they're they're selling you stuff they're selling you fake possessions uh, that it, that's on the foundation of a lie um, and that is nothing of creation a person used by others for uh, their own purposes is what's called a pawn now this is what uh, a lot of uh, people um, are being used for within this system to further the agenda of the ones at the top that are uh, using uh, everybody for their own personal gain a puppet a person party or state under the control of another person group or power um, a lot of people will say that uh, um, a lot of people in power positions are puppets as you have uh, people behind the scenes uh, that are pulling the strings because they own them because they put money in their pocket and they tell them what to do uh, while uh, it's not really their fault, uh, the ones that are a puppet or a pawn, because if they don't know they're a puppet or a pawn and, and, that, and that they're inside of an illusion, that they're, they're being falsely controlled and manipulated within a true reality, and if they don't understand this entire process, uh, uh, then they, they don't even really know that they're a puppet. <clears throat> So this is uh, some definitions that I had where we were protesting uh, because our baby was uh, stolen from us by way of fraud upon a backwards foundation. Um, uh, on many different levels, it was fraud. It was fraud within their own within within their own laws of not having a warrant um, and uh, and false probable cause and just uh, lies all over the place. You know, uh, not not just to mention the uh, but it all the root of the problem is the backwards foundation. Uh, you see, uh, anything goes on a backwards foundation. They just make up the rules as, as they so please. Because on a backwards foundation, all the laws uh, don't even exist within nature. But because uh, everyone has become so indoctrinated to thinking that they exist, you believe they exist when they don't exist. That's how sorcery voodoo works. It's because you believe it. You believe it's there, and then you follow it because you believe it's there when it's not. Corruption, dishonest, or fraudulent conduct by those in power, typically, typically involving bribery. Well, that's what this entire process is. Kidnapping. Take someone away illegally by force, typically to obtain a, uh, a ransom. Um, well, they're kidnapping our baby and they're obtaining federal funds from the government uh, upon a backwards foundation of lies. Uh, seizing a baby illegally with no warrant, no pickup order, no emergency, no abuse, no neglect, no injury. Uh, and by way of uh, fraud, violation of Fourth Amendment, uh, illegal search and seizure, kidnapping, and, and but that's just upon their false foundation. So even upon their false foundation, they have violated uh, many different uh, laws against us and stealing our child and keeping him from us. Um, that's not love. That's not that's not anything to do with a true foundation of substance love. Hostage, a person uh, seized or held as security for the fulfillment of a condition and uh, that condition coercion uh, the practice of persuading someone to do something by using force or threats so they want to do service plans and uh, you know it's forcefully uh, trying to make you bend back into uh, their false foundation and then they'll do everything possible to uh, direct your mind away from the two different foundations because they know that uh, uh, that their entire um, scheme is a lie and it's witchcraft voodoo and only the only reason why it works is because you believe that the abstract laws actually exist and they don't um, there's only the the law of love within creation do no harm uh, cause no injury uh, the, your commandments uh, uh, and your sinful things of greed lust uh, you know it, it's just your what, what people should already internally know by the way of, of love true love <coughs> um, Let's see here. Um, uh, conversion. Uh, the act or an instance of converting or the process of being converted, violation of uh, religious rights and freedoms. Uh, so, extortion. 
the practice of obtaining something, uh, especially money through force or threat, CPS, after illegally kidnapping baby, forcing the father to pay spousal support uh, to the state. Yeah, they, uh, uh, upon all this fraud and lies and deception, uh, they just they just keep it going because I, that, that, that's all they do. They, um, they use fear tactics and their entire thing is on a foundation of lies for profit where they're just absorbing in the money and uh, nobody's doing anything about it because everybody thinks that their um, uh, that their abstract laws actually exist, and uh, and then when innocent people like like us, where uh, where we were just tr uh, taking a spiritual journey, and we were trying to find uh, people that were living close to nature that maybe we could uh, coexist with and 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 keep growing, um, we had a hard time finding that because ultimately in today's time. Um, everybody's consumed with, with the lie. They've done a very good job since the days of uh, Jesus, uh, Yeshua, uh, however you say it, or, or uh, not just uh, uh, Jesus or Yeshua, but since any uh, uh, prophet uh, or any righteous man before and after Moses or any, anyone, any righteous man before and after that uh, was trying to stand up for the true foundation of the Creator. They have done very good with... Uh, um, with their witchcraft, uh, sorcery, voodoo, and creating their backwards foundation of, uh, of a lie with, with over uh, two million abstract laws, uh, the father of confusion. Remember, the creator is not of confusion. Substance love. That's it. Just be love. Just be love. And uh, um, the Alpha and Omega, um, the design is immaculately designed. Uh, free will, it, there is no organization. Um, and the reason why there's two million laws upon uh, the commerce false god is because it's nothing but organization and restriction and is the complete opposite of, of what is true. Um, now this is what they're doing to our child pretty much. Uh, the false imprisonment, uh, they've just stolen him from us and they just hold on to him as they're sucking in and raking in the funds and uh, uh, keeping him away from his mom and dad. Uh, occurs when a person is restricted in their personal movement within an area without justification or consent. Uh, this also applies to governmental detention. Um, so as you can see, uh, the rational mind shall lay out, a fa shall lay out uh, upon its backwards uh, foundation its entire evidence of what it's doing and, um, uh, and how it's being done. And you just only need to be able to, to be creatively uh, looked, you know, uh, and uh, look in your rational mind by realizing letters, numbers, symbols, and geometry are a figment of the rational mind that lies to try and explain creation. And once you can surpass that and defeat that by realizing that the false god uh, is within our own alter ego, it, it is the alter ego, and uh, you defeat that alter ego by realizing the two different foundations, one is of the creator, one is false, one is artificial. Um, we all, 99% of the people in the world today, are, exist within the artificial life uh, because we have been greatly deceived and lied to.